Hey people, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this vein texture right here. So let's get into it. Um, so I just have uh, this simple scene right here, round cube um, with some subdivisions, I have it uh, shaded smooth right here. So uh, we can switch into our shading tab right here. Make sure you uh, select your object and set the material over here. And I'm going to switch this over to uh, render view. So first thing is to click on the principled BSDF and press Control T. That'll add the texture and mapping if you have the Node Wrangler add-on. I'm going to delete this. Switch this from UV to Object. Add a Voronoi. And this will give us most of the way to the vein texture. I'm just going to plug the distance into the base color for now. And then I'm going to move these and add a map range. I'm going to change the from max to zero. I'm going to add a value node. And this will help us out a little more later. But basically right now we're just going to connect this to from min. Also I'm going to change this to smoother step. Oh yeah, and we're also going to change this from F1 to distance to edge. And that'll give us kind of this crackling look. I'm going to turn this down to about uh, 0.05, I think is what I had it set to. Already this is getting us most of the way there. But I want uh, a second layer so we have some big veins and some small veins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this Voronoi, Shift-D, plug this into the vector, and I'm going to add another map range right here. Just duplicate that, plug the distance in, and this value is going to uh, drive both of these. So they're both being clamped the same amount. Next, we just need to mix these two together. So I'm going to add a mix RGB and plug both of these in. And the best one that worked for this for me was uh, lighten. And you can just uh, crank this up all the way right here. And now you can uh, change one of your textures. And as you can see, it's going to add like a second layer. So I just set this one to 10. Just going to move everything back slightly. I'm going to add a bump node. And I'm actually going to plug this instead of the base color, just going to plug it directly into height and plug the bump into the normal. And now this is a little stronger than we need. So I'm just going to add a math node, change this to multiply. I'm going to set this to something really small like 0.01. And now it's a looking a little smoother. But these are looking a little sharp too. So I'm going to add a uh, color ramp in here. And I'm going to change this from linear to ease. And that should uh, smooth these out just a little. And I also want the smaller ones to look like they're at a lower level than the big veins. So over here, you can change the two max of the smaller one uh, a little lower. I'm going to set this to 0.5. You can see as I turn this down, it makes it look like it's, it's going a little lower. And for this part, it's important that you have this set to lighten. Otherwise, it, uh, you might get a, a different result this mix node. And then to add a color, you can add a mix RGB and plug the color of this into the factor and then plug this mix node into the base color. And now these two colors right here will control the low points and the high points. So I'm just going to set this to like a, like a pinkish color and the other one a little red. And so this right now this is looking a little angular and I want it to look a little more uh, swirly and organic. So way over here at the front between the texture and the mapping, I'm going to add a, a mix RGB. I'm going to set this to linear light. I'm going to add in a noise texture. Plug it into the second color right here and make sure that uh, this object coordinate is plugged into the the noise vector also. And so now this factor bar will control how much the noise is distorting everything. So you can have this set to a pretty low number. You really don't need it to be very high at all for it to start getting kind of messed up. I think this is pretty good. And if you want to make this extra gross, you can change the noise texture to 4D and animate the W value right here. And I think this texture looks pretty good, especially when you turn the roughness down and it starts to get kind of shiny. And that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like and subscribe. And if you want to see what else I'm making, check out my Instagram. Thanks for watching.